What if gravity turned off for five seconds? Let's say you're brushing your teeth, your cat's on the windowsill, your phone's on the sink, all normal, right? Then, in the blink of an eye, everything lifts. You're floating. Your cat's floating. Your phone? Floating. Gravity has just vanished. No warning. No countdown. Just off. Five seconds of zero gravity. Sounds fun, right? Not quite. No. You see, gravity isn't just the thing that makes stuff fall. It's what keeps your feet on the floor, keeps water in the ocean, keeps the atmosphere from drifting into space. It holds the moon in orbit, pulls the tides, and even helps your body know which way is up. Without gravity, there's no down, no weight, no pressure, just motion. So when gravity cuts out, things don't float, they drift, they fly. Instantly, anything not bolted down starts to rise. You lift off your socks, your dog levitates. Toothpaste blobs hover mid-air. Coffee floats out of your mug in slow motion blobs like a space movie. But that's not the scary part. Anything in motion, it keeps going forever until something stops it. If your body was shifting slightly, you'd be drifting sideways into a wall. Cars roll out of lanes and keep gliding, straight through intersections. Planes begin to tilt. Their engines might run, but with no lift from gravity, they're just gliding metal whales. Birds stall, trains derail, people flail midair like startled action figures. The entire world enters slow motion chaos. This isn't just about floating cats and airborne coffee. The Earth itself begins to shift. The crust, normally held tight by gravity's squeeze, relaxes. Small tectonic shifts ripple. The atmosphere? It starts to puff outward, like Earth's lungs exhaling. Oceans bulge, tides disconnect. Just remember, all that relies on gravity, which is, well, everything, becomes unmoored. Then, click. Gravity turns back on, and everything that went up has to come back down. Phones crash, drones smash, people drop like rag dolls. A pencil that floated two meters up is now a dart falling at 9.8 meters per second squared. The damage? Worse than a hurricane, because nothing is going to land where it started, and no one had time to brace. So, could gravity really shut off? The good thing is, nope. Gravity isn't a machine you can unplug, it's a property of mass. The more mass something has, the more gravity it produces. To turn it off, you'd need to remove the mass of the Earth, which means you'd also be removing the Earth. So, yeah, not a switch you want to flip. The thing is, we don't notice gravity much. It's always on, always working, but it's the reason we have oceans, mountains, breathable air, walkable floors. It's not just a force, it's the reason the world makes sense. So next time you drop your phone and groan, be glad it came back down. Because gravity didn't just catch your phone, it caught you. So yeah, maybe show it a little respect. <laughs>